Lizzie, Lizzie, I was going to look for you. Come into my room. I received a letter this morning which has astonished me exceedingly from Mr. Collins. What can he have to say? Well, he begins with congratulations on the approaching nuptials of my eldest daughter, but I shan't sport with your intelligence by <coughs> reading his remarks on that topic. Ah, yes, here, here, here. Uh -huh. Your daughter Elizabeth, it is presumed, will not long bear the name of Bennet after her eldest sister has resigned it and the chosen partner of her fate may be reasonably looked up to as one of the most illustrious personages in the land. Can you guess who he means, Lizzie? Hmm? <laughs> now, 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 now it comes out. My motive for cautioning you is as follows. His aunt, Lady Catherine de Bourgh, does not look on the match with a friendly eye. Mr. Darcy, you see, is the man. Mr. Darcy, of all men! <laughs> Who never looks at a woman except to see a blemish? Are you not diverted? Oh, yes. Mr. Darcy, who probably never looked at you in his life before. Oh, this is admirable. But, Lizzie, you look as if you didn't enjoy it. You're not going to be missish now and pretend to be affronted by an idle report. Oh, no, no, I'm excessively diverted, but it's all so strange. But pray, what, what said Lady Catherine de Bourgh? I suppose she came to refuse her consent, eh? <laughs> well, well, what do we live for? But to make sport for our neighbours and laugh at them in our turn. True, true.